Hello everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today I'm doing another random ass video where I play with something that I've built. And in this case, it is a approximation of an Orion Drive spacecraft. Now, I've been trying to make one of these work in KSB for a long time without using mods, and I came to the conclusion that I don't actually have to simulate the bombs, I just have to simulate the force coming off the bombs. And I remember that the uh, object thrower is a thing. So basically, I made this here um, ship that it, it, it operates roughly like an Orion. Uh, you have the crew capsule and some other stuff, but you also have the spring between the pusher plate, which, um, here actually, I, I, I can demonstrate it. Boop. Yeah, it like kind of springs. Actually, I can probably show that better by just doing this. Come in. Boop. And it springs because it's awesome. But yeah, anyway, so I have this springy pusher plate and that broken launch pad. I'm just gonna revert that. And then I have the um, the object thrower. And I decided, and I actually uh, managed to make something that actually functions relatively poorly. <laughs> like it works in terms of the physics. It does not work very well in terms of practicality. But here I can actually show you guys. I can just do this. Um, the speed a bit. I uh, see that. All right, and uh, now we see if this works. Boop. Okay, it's not working as the best it can. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It all depends on how well I uh, I boop it. Oh, there we go. All right, let's turn the speed down a little bit. <laughs> uh, seriously, this is great. This is great, guys. It it doesn't look like it, but this actually is really good. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that speed. We're hitting mock effects now. Oh. And we're breaking the atmosphere. See, we actually get fast enough we start getting mock effects by doing this. And then we interact with the other spheres that we've been dealing with. Let's actually see if we can get into space like this. Uh, we're going to have to, like, gravity turn over, I, sp I, I suppose. Also, to, to do this, I actually did have to cheat by turning on unbreakable joints and no crash damage, obviously. Because if I didn't, this would not... Um, it would explode, basically. You know, we're actually going places. I know this is really not that interesting to look at, because, you know, you don't actually get to see any of the interesting, you know, space flight. But, uh... <laughs> you consider I'm currently hammering something into space using just momentum. It's pretty impressive. So yeah, uh, the Orion Drive, if you don't know, um, which understandable, actually, not a lot of people do, except for people like me and other nerds, um, it's... Well, it, it was an idea for a nuclear propulsion drive, where basically you have nuclear weapons detonated behind a pusher plate, and it would push the ship up to ungodly speeds. Or, in the case of what they were planning on doing, um, sending very heavy loads into space using nuclear weapons. And I can't really simulate nuclear weapons in Kerbal Space Program without mods. However, I can simulate the overall effect, which is just a large push on the back of the spacecraft. And that's what I'm doing now. And this is amazing. What if I actually can get into orbit? I have no idea. What, 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 what are we looking at? <laughs> We're actually like, this is actually reasonable. Here, I'll see if I can do a, um, from afar, then I go, boop, yeah, see it makes it spring. Only it looked really bad there. Whatever. Uh, let's see if we can actually get this into orbit. Cause I haven't actually tried to get it into orbit just on pusher plate alone. I tested it by cheating it into orbit. But this is hilarious, and I'm really, really enjoying this. Now, the Orion Drive was cancelled for many reasons. Um, mostly it was killed because of the nuclear test ban treaties which prevented detonating nuclear weapons um, above ground and then later on uh, altogether. And 
Look at that, we're in orbit. A really elliptical orbit. Let's just keep going, see if we can break orbit. But an <laughs> another reason why it was cancelled, which wasn't as big of a reason, but it's probably the historically most hilarious. I guess you can say hilarious. Um, the people working on Orion at the time were only were, were working with the, or I guess under the Air Force, because it was easy funding at the time. But of course, uh, military people, being military people, they wanted military application for this, and uh, basically told them to cough up some, you know, useful application or get out. So they decided, well, fine, then we'll um, we'll give them what they want, and they just, you know, keep it. And they gave out a couple. They had a number of ideas, but the two that really stood out were these um, two ideas for military application in which you had either an Orion battleship, which was a large spaceship uh, that had large, like, guns on it and nuclear howitzers and uh, could contain, like, I think it was like 50 uh, 5 megaton nuclear weapons and could literally lay waste to the entirety of the planet's surface. And then another idea was an Orion doomsday bomb that was this basically this giant it was basically the, the largest physically possible hydrogen weapon that you could build basically a building nuclear weapon that had like nine gigaton yield and you put it basically in an orion shell and then you just launch it into orbit and have it sit over top of the soviets and then you know let them know hey we have a bomb over your head that can destroy the entirety of your country and our entire ecosphere and uh, these ideas were ludicrous, and JFK agreed because when he saw, like, they, they they built this model of the of the battleship that I would actually very much like because it sounds really cool. Um, and they showed it to him, and it it kind of horrified him. He, just, <laughs> he 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 really felt the world did not need that right now, and uh, that was kind of one of the nails in the coffin of Orion. So, it was, it's, again, this is another case of the military ruining um, everything, as they frequently do. I might be a pacifist, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, but it was, it was really, it's a really cool bit of history, because the Orion Drive, I guess we could call it, it was kind of the first concept for a really, um, I guess, a really powerful interplanetary spacecraft, and even interstellar. Uh, theoretically, you could use an Orion Drive and get something up to a reasonable fraction of the speed of light. And by reasonable, I mean somewhere between, like, 5 to 10%, uh, depending on how well you do it. Which w would still be, um, at 10% the speed of light, at least, I don't know, it would be less than 100 years to Alpha Centauri, maybe like 45 years, a, a, a human lifespan. So like it's not it's not completely stupid. It's just I don't know. If you're gonna get, if you're if you're gonna go there, go there uh, a bit faster. But it was still it's an interesting idea. But I think some people are trying to resurrect Orion, but using non-nuclear methods or um, using hydrogen or like helium three fusion pellets. So it's the same concept of a putt putt motor type thing, but instead of nuclear weapons, you you, you fuse helium-3 or deuterium tritium pellets, and off you go with, with that, because that doesn't technically violate any treaties or laws, and doesn't involve putting nuclear weapons in space, which is a big no-no. Seriously, no one's allowed to do that. And no one's actually tried. Um, the closest they've ever come to putting nuclear weapons in space is when they've detonated them in space like Operation Starship Pri uh, Starfish Prime, or a couple projects they did where they were launching weapons off ships in the Pacific up into space. And there was also a plan to send a bomb to the moon and set off a huge hydrogen bomb on the surface of the moon, but um, it was literally just a middle finger to the Soviet Union. It had no scientific value at all, so they didn't do it. Which is surprising, because you'd think that one-upping the Soviet Union would be enough for them, but no, they decided against it. I have no idea how, f how how like where we're going and how fast we're going. I haven't really put much thought into uh, what do you call it navigating this thing. I just wanted to build it and see if it could happen, and it, it works fantastic. Let's see where are we? Well, we're leaving Kerbin. Oh geez, we're actually le <laughs> whoa, we're actually leaving the the Kerbal system. I 
think we may have made. I think I may have made something here. That is a. It's really finicky to play with or to use, but it it may actually be, like. I don't know. It's like it's actually. It seems like it's it's gotten to these speeds faster than some of my other other my other ideas. Oh, and if I hit it on the side, it will break the ship apart. So I have to be careful of that. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Um, I'm running out of things to talk about, but I'm just really enjoying this. Um, but here, actually, I can show the um, the pusher plate at a more reasonable thing. So how it works is like. All right, so we have that coming in, and this we can watch the spring. Any time now. Boop. So that was disappointing. I was hoping for it to like spring it more. But this is the genius of the design because the actual Orion does have, like, or it had a pusher plate, like a springy pusher plate, uh, to like shock absorb the impacts to reduce g-force load. So I had to simulate that. Boop. There we go. So I used. Um, couplers, or decouplers, because I, I just long ass time ago realized that they act like springs when you have them all stacked up and I'm sure a lot of everyone else has too but it, it makes this really amusing um, spring that you can use so I have a, a a stock Orion spacecraft with like the correct functionings springy pusher plate now I know what you're thinking. Uh, I can go much much faster, but it I lose control if I do that, and it doesn't work all the time. Um, boop. Yeah, see, it's like if I do that, I really lose control. But look at the g-force when it hits. Boop. Like it's just, it's it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. I love some of the stuff I just come up with when I'm playing this. Boop. Again, I, I don't want to break it. Or maybe I do, I don't know. Either way, um, is it ever going to come back? What's that? Oh, that's Rodina. Uh, I don't know if it's ever going to come back. I think I've kind of screwed this up. It's just going to keep flying off into the into nowhere. But yeah, anyways, I guess that's it. Um, I don't want to waste any more of your time. This was my Orion attempt. And uh, I'm quite pleased with it, actually. I'm not going to lie. I am very pleased with it. I think it works great. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back with more videos later. And space.